Hello you! This must be super unusual for you and it is very weird for me as well. But I asked you if you have any questions on Instagram and since many of you found your way to me here on YouTube I thought I should introduce myself a little more and I got lots of questions and there were so many that I decided to part this video into two parts or maybe three I don't really know how long I will talk yet so um, the first part will be about my personal life or my life in general as well as moving into this house here and about living in a village and I got some notes here <laughs> and the second part will be more about my work and also um, about how I started my business, about my photography, about my illustrating and yeah I think we should get into the questions as soon as possible so the video won't be too long. So the first question is something that makes you happy today and this is very easy to answer because I just came back from picking blueberries in from the forest and I just love to do that. I love to pick blueberries, raspberries, blackberries or something else in the forest or even mushrooms of course and it's just something very calming to do to drive my bike there and to go into the deep forest and the light is falling down from the trees and you can watch up and see the treetops swaying in the wind very slightly and yeah just concentrate on picking those <laughs> small little balls and then of course make something very delicious out of them so this was something that made me very happy today how is a normal day for you your morning routine daily routine and what type of exercise do you do so um, it depends <laughs> it depends on if it's a normal day or if it's a um, free day of course so a normal working day usually starts very early because I like to wake up very early and get things done in the mornings and this is what I do. I wake up, I eat breakfast and sometimes I do some exercises in the morning or go for a run and yeah then I just very calmly eat breakfast, I take my time and then I start to answer some emails, then I usually pack some orders for my shop and then I work on clients work if I have some and if I don't I usually try to work on new products and then I have a lunch break and then I just uh, start to look what's what needs to get done like sometimes I have some other projects or I work on photographs or um, I have portrait sessions or I do some blog posts but I can get more into that um, later in the second part but um, yeah then I have usually dinner um, my boyfriend comes home and we sit there together and have a lovely dinner and um, yeah and we sometimes go out for an evening walk and watch a movie or he makes some music and I am doing some photography work it always is slightly different but that's what we usually do what were you like as a child compared to now I was very different I was a little crazy and very funny and quirky and I did many crazy things I had clubs with my best friends in our village and we were um, selling our own lemonade outside. I was super creative. I did many funny things. And um, I mean, I'm still creative, but I'm more settled and I don't say everything that I think. But I think that's a common thing that children do, of course. But um, yeah, I think I'm definitely more settled and more calmer. And I like to uh, watch people more and definitely still crazy even if people probably don't think that but i have a crazy side definitely what's one thing a lot of people don't know about you maybe that i'm a little crazy <laughs> that i have some minutes where i'm super crazy or um what else do people not know about me it's hard to say but i because i don't know what people know and what they don't 
Um, yes, I, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Because there are so many things. <laughs> um, your biggest wish for life. Um, a very simple one, I guess. I just want to be happy. I want to work in a subject that I love and I want to um, have a little family. I would like to stay at, in the village. I don't know if it will be here forever or if we will move somewhere else sometime. But yeah, I would love to raise children in a village and to live our lives here. And yeah, I think that's my main wish in life. Your favorite vacation. That's also very hard to answer. Everything that includes what's your favorite is super hard to answer because I um, loved every vacation we did, really. And I remember one vacation where we went to, um, to Belgium and it was really pretty because we saw so many different cities and we stayed at our friends and it was so nice. And yeah, so many little trips we did, but I think if I should pick one, I would say my time in Poland when I visited my friends Anna and Matilda and yeah because I think it was very um, exciting for me I was traveling alone for um, the very first time so far I mean <laughs> and even if it's not that far but I mean I did trips to cities alone but not to another country and it was just so nice to finally meet them and to get to know their lives and yeah, I think this was my favorite trip. Favorite room plant. So my favorite room plant, I'm sitting in our living room and that's the place where most of our plants are because um, yeah, they get good light here and we have a lot of shelves where they can sit and some shelves that hang on the wall where Willow can't go. Huh? But um, yeah, it's hard to pick one, of course, but I really like Pilea plants and Monster plants and I love uh, Begonia plants and my avocado tree and ferns. I love ferns, but there are so many different plants that I love and yeah, I love every single plant that we, that we own. Book and why? So, favorite book. Um, Favorite book, probably A Little Life because it was so touching and it took me so long to read it but it was so um, nice to just read a few pages every once in a while and soak the story in very deeply and yeah if you haven't re read it I would definitely recommend it. And otherwise I really love Haruki Murakami books because they're my favorites and yeah I can't really pick one of them but probably Kafka on the shore if I should pick one but yeah I can recommend many of them. Favorite movies is even harder because we watch so many movies. Maybe this is also something people don't know about me is that we Sometimes we watch a movie every day, <laughs> so that's a lot, but I get very inspired by movies and they calm me down and they help me to um, get creative and yeah, I just lo love to watch movies, I, I think. So um, my favorite movies would probably be Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind and Her, but there are so, so many movies. I mean, there are so many good movies up in this world and yeah, but those two are the ones I have probably seen the most. Um, how did you and your boyfriend meet? So <laughs> this is kind of a cute and weird story because he was um, riding with me on an online platform in the internet and um, I was 15 and he was 19. And we just rode for a couple of months and yeah, it got kind of intense and he wanted to meet me and I was super shy and I said like, oh no, <laughs> we can't.
can't meet, we don't know each other. But yeah, then I went to the city where he lived in. And I said, oh, today my girlfriend and I will go to the city. And he was like, oh, okay. And then he was waiting at the train station when we arrived there. And um, I didn't saw him because he, he was hiding himself somewhere. And then he was following us while we were walking through some shops. And in one store, he was like tapping on my shoulder. And I was looking behind because he's much taller than I am. And he was like, hi. <laughs> And I was like, oh, hi. <laughs> and yeah, so we were staying there and we probably didn't really say anything in s except for, oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, we were super nervous. So it was funny and exciting. And yeah, the next day we went out for our first date. Um, what is the thing that could cheer you up any time of the day? That is probably music, I would say, because sometimes you find some old song that you listened maybe 10 years ago and listened to 10 years ago. And when you hear the song, it sometimes can evoke so many good positive feelings in you, but also some good news or um, yeah, nice things that I receive in my mail, for example, or I mean letters from friends. Or um, yeah, going to the garden and picking up some nice vegetables or fruits. <laughs> Why did you decide to move to the countryside? So I don't know if all of you know, but I lived in Leipzig before half a year. And um, yeah, we moved here because we were not sure where to live after that. I mean, if we should go back to another city or if we should find another place and since the city we lived in before they had no flats that were um, affordable so we had to come up with another idea and then we thought about oh why not moving to the village and then we got this opportunity to live in this house and this house is the house where I grew up so um, yeah there was a lot to do in this house so we were not sure if we should do it because we didn't have so much time to renovate everything but yeah now we live here and it's it's not done of course definitely not but um, yeah that's the reason why we moved in here and I'm really glad that we did that um, the next question do you like living in a village oh no oh yes <laughs> Do you like living in a village more than living in the city? So I don't really know if I, um, if this came through already, but yes, I love living in a village and I love it more than living in the city because, um, yeah, it, it comes together with the next question. Any tips for deciding between city or village? Because, um, of course, there are always pros and cons for everything. But for me, the city has so many cons and the only negative thing I think for living in the village is that you need more time to, to do errands and to go to the city. But we live very, very close to the city, so it's just a couple of minutes that we need by train or some, some more minutes by bike. So it's not too far away, but still it's some kind of um, negative thing that I sometimes think like, oh, if I... I could just go out and go to the bakery or to a cafe but these things are things that I um, when I lived in Leipzig I realized that you don't really go to cafes and shops and parks and whatever so very often because if you work a lot then there is not so much time to do these things and I thought I, I had this idea that it's nicer to live in a village and pay less rent and have this beautiful nature around, have so much more space, have a garden and um, then just travel to the city whenever you want to and go to cafes when you really have the time for it and make little trips to uh, different cities and yeah, I think this is a perfect um, balance somehow. So. Um, yeah, I don't really know if I have any tips. I think it depends on um, what kind of type 
what kind of person you are. If you are a more calm person that likes to spend time alone or with their partner in the village or if you always want to go out and um, do things with other people and do things in the city then of course city is better for you but yeah we like to go on concerts once in a while and go out for dinner and everything like that and we can do it still so I would go for a village <laughs> always. Um, if given free will, where on earth would you set up your home? Oh my god, <laughs> I don't know how to answer these questions because there are so many nice places in the world and I um, could never decide. And I do love where we live now and of course there are so many nice countries. For example, I would love to uh, live in Japan but how realistic is it to live there? Um, or in Sweden or Finland or somewhere in the north um, but yeah for me this like in Germany here is is a nice place right now and I don't really know what happens in the future mm, can you show a bit of your house <laughs> um, yes I can I will include some clips while I'm talking I guess um, but yeah, nothing is really finished yet. Like like I said, the living room is pretty much like we want it to be. But yeah, the shelf behind me is still empty, for example. And we want to take our time to find furniture and to make everything nicer. And yeah, it just takes so much time to do everything. And since this is not our own house, we cannot change everything the way we want to. But, yeah, <laughs> I think I'm pretty happy with what we did so far and it's so amazing to, to know that we did those renovation works and you even see those little mistakes in a different light because you know how hard it was to make certain things and I especially love our, our living room, it's so, so calming and we don't really have much furniture in there, it's just like a bed and a new shelf that we just got recently from a relative, it was a gift and um, yeah besides that we only have this bed and a few things there so it feels so nice to just go there and sleep <laughs> and also this little room in front of it is so small but also so nice because we can put our clothes in there in what the one in the right corner <laughs> and on the left corner I can have a little creative space. I do have an office now that I share with my boyfriend but this little table there in this room is just so nice to yeah be creative and I love to connect this place not so much to work but more to drawing and yeah gather gather ideas. And yeah, like I said, we have an office that is not finished at all, but it's so nice to finally have a place that is just for working and I can keep my things there and just go to another room and it's more separate now, what I really love. And we finally have our own kitchen and I really love to be in the kitchen because it's so cozy and I love our carpet there and... Um, yeah, that we don't have, I don't really know how that is called in English, but we don't have those cupboards on the walls that we used to have and those flats we rented. And yeah, I like this much more without them because there's so much more space. Now Willow's crying. Willow? I don't know, I think I have to get him. Yes, the next question. That is Willow, scratching on our couch, of course. The next question. Um, how do you feel being in a new flat? So that's basically, I think I basically said everything about it. But yeah, we are really happy to live here. Now Willow wants to go back outside. Um, what's a short-term goal and long-term goal of yours? Hmm, I would say, like I said, a long-term goal is probably that 
I am able to continue working in my own business and finding joy in it and set up our home and our life. So very simple wishes and a short term goal is probably that I keep on working on some more products and that I want to shoot more portraits and also I recently started to shoot weddings so if you are looking for someone for your wedding then you can contact me so I still have some free spots to shoot some weddings and I'm really excited to shoot them because I think it would be a super nice experience um, yeah but this is definitely a goal and I'm excited for it do you dry flowers yourself? Any tips? Yes, I do. <laughs> I really, really love to dry plants and I just do it very, very simply. I go outside, I pick up plants, I put them in a book and I let them dry. I put them like in the pages and several layers and newspaper between them and then I put something heavy on top and I let them stay there for two weeks or so and then they are ready to go. Are you a vegetarian? No. I'm neither a vegetarian nor am I a ve nor am I vegan. I usually eat, I would say, 90% vegetarian. I never cook meat or I, I don't buy any meat, really. Maybe there are a few exceptions, but yeah, we usually cook vegetarian. But sometimes when we go somewhere or when we are with our family, I sometimes eat meat, so... I'm not, I, I wouldn't call myself a vegetarian, but I, um, yeah, I think I will try that in the future definitely to cut it out even more. What's your biggest fear? Oh my gosh, <laughs> I have so many fears. Um, mm, probably losing my family, losing my partner and being on my own and also like um, failing in things. I, I really don't like to fail. Um, yeah, but I think mostly it's losing the people you love that I fear the most. Do you believe in karma? No. What was the hardest part of your life so far and why? Um, Hmm, I think the time when I moved to Leipzig was definitely one of the hardest parts in my life because I left so many things behind and I'm not really regretting that but I'm, um, yeah, I would have done things differently from my point of view now and I lived in Leipzig um, on my own and it was actually a very lonely time there <laughs> I did a lot of thinking and learning about myself which was super good so I'm I, f I now feel like a different person after this year after this six months that I lived there um, but at the same time it sometimes felt like I just can't go on with what I'm doing and I just want to quit everything and I just want to sleep and don't do anything anymore because I felt so hopeless and I felt like a lack of creativity and um, yeah, it was not a good time, but it's over. Mm. Do you have a moment which was a turning point in your life? Yeah, definitely this time as well. <laughs> and like I said, I learned a lot of things about myself and now I can understand many things much better. Is there something in your life you really regret? regret? No, I don't think so. Um, I believe that everything that even looks like it's something bad or um, you connect it to something bad has something good in it. That you always learn something from bad experiences. So I don't think that if I would cut out certain things that I did that weren't that I'm not so proud of, um, that I would do them differently now because I did not learn 
that they are not good. I don't really know if I explained that in a good way, but I hope you could understand. Um, what do you try to do on days you feel a bit lost and sad? So I do have a lot of those days, I have to say. Um, and sometimes I'm really bad at going out of them and then I just sit in bed, I drink tea, I, ate, I eat cake and chocolate and I don't want to go out of this hole. <laughs> but if I'm actually trying to go outside of this hole, I just go out on my bike and drive somewhere. I put my earplugs in my ear and I just listen to music. Um, I drive my bike and look at the surroundings and I most of the time feel so much better then. And also what helps is that you speak to someone that you trust, someone that understands and someone that listens and not judges you for your feelings. Um, yeah, and I'm very happy that I have people in my life that support me in those situations. Yes. Um, do you have any advices for someone going through a rough time? Um, not really. I think sometimes you just have to pass. There's nothing really, there's nothing you can really do about them. You just have to keep in mind that better times will come and you can make little plans, little goals for yourself that make you keep on going. Little treats that you can have when you receive certain goals. I think this is a good rewarding system that can work out if you have a rough time. Do you have a special remedy against stressful situations? Like I said, going out for me is always something that helps. Uh, but also just take a day off and don't think about those things <laughs> that need to happen and take your time to make a real plan what you can do to make those things less stressful and be more organized in your, in your life. How do you go through a breakup? So breakups are always incredible, incredible hard. To go through and there's no real um, thing that can help I guess um, just don't be alone and find people that you can have around you and cook some nice meals with them go out with them talk to them or if you don't have anyone that you can talk to maybe find someone you can talk to or go to your family and talk with them. So as I see now I have so many more questions to go through and I do want to answer them all and that's why I will split this video now. There will be a second and probably also a third part. There are some more uh, questions about our cat Willow about the recipes, baking and cooking and also a huge part about my work and yeah I will, will do another video for you so if you are interested in those questions you can watch them in the next few weeks.